everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and let's see what we need to be focused on to be aware of. All right, so immediately we have Claire Cognizance, it's Archangel Uriel. Now, if you are watching this before August 29th, I will be having a live on the Bright platform all about Archangel Uriel. Not many people know who this Archangel is or why you would work with him. And he is all about wisdom, strength, finding your purpose, living your authentic life. So amongst other things. So that will be on August 29th. And always check the description box because I will have lives posted there as well as uh, personal reading information. I'm doing the live video readings. You need to email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com for availability and pricing on that. And of course, the standard readings are over at angelsouls444.com. Can you tell I say this all the time? <laughs> and courses, writing that I have over at Substack, all of that is down below. So this says, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. This is incredibly important because so many of us have been dismissing our intuitive hits. We are dismissing or doubting some sort of thing that we know is coming or when it comes to social change, let's just go there for a second. When it comes to social change, we are not allowing ourselves to speak up. A lot of people have been shutting down, getting quiet. Maybe you do this in your own personal life too, where you just don't want to make waves. We are all already stressed out, you know, and all of that. So that is saying, if you know something, say something. Okay. And don't just hold it in. Oh, there's the next one. <laughs> Relationship harmony. This Mm, let's talk about this. It's Archangel Raguel, who also is not very well known, <laughs> but he is the Archangel of relationships and of getting along well with others. So playing nice with others. And it says, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So that's nice for some of you on an individual level. Maybe you'll have someone reach out to you to have a discussion. Maybe it's long overdue, that sort of thing. But this speaks on a bigger scale of how we need to be kinder to one another. There is so much division going on in the world. If you start to find yourself getting divided, stop, stop. And don't play into that because when we play into the division tactic, we're given in, we're given in and we're giving away our strength. Okay. Let's see what else we have going on here. Yeah. There's a lot of social things coming up here. So there might be something that occurs around the time that you're seeing this where it's more than waking up. It's realizing just how much we've been turned against one another. And it's not just about outward circumstances, but it's about the energy ooh, that we were raised with. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> Look at that. We need to find peace with one another. Archangel Shamuel. So Shamuel is known for again, just like Uriel helping you reach your potential, but she's known as the Archangel of Love. Where can we approach things in our own life and out in the collective with a little more kindness and understanding instead of just, you know, you're different than me, so I hate you. You know, wh what is that? <laughs> Come on. It says peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Now, if you are sitting there thinking about someone, maybe there's someone in your family, a friend, a love partner that you're not getting along with, or somebody that you broke up with and you're hoping to hear from them. Everything can get resolved when you find peace within your heart. That is not usually how people work. <laughs> right? They're like, no, when that thing happens, then I will allow myself to be at peace. But in, this is saying in order to reach that state, really it's being at peace and letting it go, letting it go and letting it become whatever it needs to become. So certainly do not be harassing anybody, <laughs> like calling them up and trying to get them to, to talk to you if you broke up with them and you're trying to get them back. Like we don't need any of that. Okay. We need to find a way to heal things without the external validation, without the external being guaranteed because that is what holds up a lot of people. And I was getting ready to go down this road of, um, you know, when people are not in true love partnerships, or if you are with friends and you don't really get along with them or what have you, that's putting a frequency out into the collective. 
Now, when we are healed as whole, you know, our, our individual selves, when we are whole and complete beings, and then we get with somebody else who is a whole and complete being, completely, you know, not leaning on someone else for their happiness, not needing someone else's validation, not needing someone to control, that's where pure love can exist. And that is where peace is. And that puts a frequency out into the universe that is absolutely beautiful. So that, that is something too, I think that's coming up here where we know that we are trying to live up to these unreasonable love standards, or even in friendships, you have a needy friend who just expects you to live for them. And you know that that's not a good connection, but yet you don't want to walk away because maybe you feel guilty for walking away from this person. These are all of those things that we get conditioned to just accept, right? Do you have toxic coworkers? And you're considered the bad guy for speaking up, right? Or putting that person uh, in their place. The, these are all the things that we need to start looking at, recognizing, being knowing or leaning on our knowing, let's put it that way, leaning on our knowing to start calling it out so that we could be healthier. Yeah, there's a lot about stress going on here too, like, because we have the peace card, harmony is on this card, <laughs> clear cognizance, you know that you need, we, we need to take care of ourselves because we are in very, very turbulent waters and will be for a while, okay? So this needs to be a focus and it's Archangel Raphael, of course, the heart space and opening the heart space. Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. Now I will add on to this, anybody who's using their lifestyle as a way to control others or to make them feel guilty, you know, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> the people who are just a little too crazy about the diet and lifestyle that they follow and they think you're bad if you don't follow it, don't listen to those people. You do what's right for you, of course, listen to your doctors and, and you'll be able to get to a place where you're living a lifestyle. Again, where was it? Shamuel. i got to pick these up, sorry. <laughs> Shamuel is all about living your potential. So living a lifestyle that helps you do that, whatever that is, okay? It, for me, I always had big dreams when I was little. I wanted to be a dancer. I really... I love that movie, Girls Just Want to Have Fun. <laughs> so like, I always wanted to be a dancer. And yet I was always an overweight kid. I've always been a bigger person. And I just didn't like how my body felt when I moved. I just didn't feel strong. Now, that doesn't mean that I was hideous or, you know, whatever, or even unhealthy. I wasn't unhealthy. Calm down, okay? I wasn't unhealthy. But for me, I just didn't feel strong enough. So I started to do exercises to try to be stronger, to be flexible. Obviously, I didn't become a dancer, but you know, it's that sort of thing. You know, evaluate how you want to feel. If you're somebody who's starting to have, I don't know, joint issues or something like that, and you check with your doctor, I don't know what a doctor would recommend for that, but and no medical advice is given here, but you know, maybe you and your doctor decide that yoga is good for you. Get out there and do it then. You know, if, if that's what is decided that is the best for you, it's okay to take care of this vessel. <laughs> I think so many of us focus more on, you know, opening our intuition, the spiritual side of things, which is beautiful. But that spiritual side of you needs to be expressed through this physical body. So we need to take care of it. All right. So I don't know where my color cards are or they're not here. <laughs> okay. So we're going to be doing this, the Magdalene. Oracle will pull a card from here. Yeah, more and more and more, we're gonna see people short-circuiting. I've been saying that for forever. That's nothing new. Liberation, okay. So as I was saying, there are gonna be people short-circuiting. Some people are taking that approach because they think that this is the way to get this, right? Like to get their freedom, yes? But this is also going in with those other cards where it said, okay, if you want to be liberated from the system that you're a part of, then you have to stop giving into the system. Now, I'm not saying go out there and get in trouble. I'm not saying anything of the sort, but we need to free our thinking. That's really what it comes down to. Free our thinking and not give in to things like, again, societal narratives that if I live this way, then I'm bad. Or if I don't have a house by this time, I'm bad. If I'm not married by this time, I'm bad. If I choose to never have kids, I'm bad. 
you know, all those kinds of things, we're liberating the way we see ourselves in this existence. And what that's going to do, especially if, whenever you're seeing this, that is going to free you up to create something very meaningful. And it's going to be most likely something you never had thought of before. Uh, something that you, <laughs> if you know, you had known that before, you would have said, no way, I'm not going down that road. I'm not taking that kind of opportunity or I'm not gonna live like that. Something comes up, you're, you're shifting. Your, your whole energy field is taking a turn here and things that you never imagined making you happy will now make you happy. And this is interesting too from a love perspective because if you're somebody who never thought that you were going to commit to anybody, <laughs> look out. <laughs> or, you know, for some of you, sadly, I mean, you might be in a marriage where you're like, I thought this would be forever, but I'm realizing this is not it. This is not what is healthy, okay? So again, leaning on your strength, leaning on your wisdom and being honest with yourself. What really makes you happy? Not what you think will make you happy, right? How many of you out there, comment down below, how many of you thought years ago that you were gonna have X, Y, and Z kind of career? And then maybe you started going down that road and you realize there's a reality behind this. There are things that you have to do. There are things that you have to sacrifice in order to make that happen and I don't wanna do it, right? And so you have to shift and turn and do all of that. So there's going to be a lot of sort of balancing the happenings out in the world. Again, we're gonna be seeing people short-circuiting and trying to maintain your health and trying not to let the stress overtake you and still being open to what you know your guardians are teaching you and trying to get you to understand that all this time you were told how to live and now you're liberating yourself from that, there might be a little bit of not being able to get your footing because maybe that's a, an unusual sensation for you, living for yourself, right? <laughs> and, and once you do get your footing, you get your bearings and you start moving, the energy, as I said before, is so open, all of these things are gonna start flowing. Do not reject them just because up here, intellectually, you had some sort of plan that you feel you have to stay loyal to. It's not, it's not the time for that. It's the time to be open to let spirit show you what is possible. So we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.